Hi, I'm Rachel Noya, speech language pathologist at Gaylord Specialty Healthcare in Wallingford, Connecticut. And today I'd like to talk with you about oral care. So oral care is not just grooming, it's a medical necessity. It's one of the ways, one of the controllable ways we can keep our patients healthier. So let's go over the basics. I have here in front of me the supplies you might need to perform the oral care. Uh, I have a basin for swishing and spitting. I have a, a hand cloth here um, for cleaning the mouth before and after. I have a toothbrush. And I also have something here called a suction toothbrush. So you can find this uh, on the nursing units in the Pixis machine. This suction toothbrush will attach to a suction tubing in a patient's room. And one of the benefits of a suction toothbrush is it will suction as you're brushing the teeth of an individual who can't do that for themselves. So it works like this. You occlude the hole on the toothbrush base with your thumb and it suctions as you brush. If a person is MPO or not eating or drinking, um, it becomes crucial that we keep their mouths clean. Um, when a person is not drinking multiple times a day, their mouths have a tendency to accumulate um, secretions. They, they have a tendency to uh, develop infections such as thrush. Um, and a dry mouth breeds bacteria. Um, so the way you go about assisting somebody cleaning their mouths when they are not eating and drinking is to use a suction toothbrush or brush their teeth the same time you're using a yank hour oral suction to control for the accumulation of the toothpaste foam in the mouth. I have alcohol-free mouthwash you want to use alcohol-free mouthwash because alcohol is going to um, contribute to a dry mouth and a dry mouth breeds bacteria. So alcohol-free mouthwash. Toothpaste. We have toothpaste on all the nursing units as well as all of these other supplies. And then I have a toothette here. So very important, toothettes don't replace a toothbrush. Patients need the friction of a toothbrush to adequately clean their teeth, their tongues, the sides, the roofs of their mouths. Using a tooth set is, like I said, not a replacement for a toothbrush, but I will sometimes use a tooth set to rinse the mouth if a patient can't swish and spit. And then after a person brushes their teeth, rinses their mouths, um, let's not forget the lips. So a little bit of lip moisturizer can complete the treatment. So if you have a patient who wears dentures, it's important that those dentures get removed every night, soaked overnight. We have denture tablets here in all the units of the hospital. And if your patient doesn't have teeth, it's still important to brush the tongue, even gently brush the gums. Um, so reinforcing that with them is important. If you have any questions about how to perform oral care for a patient, don't hesitate to reach out to me. My name is Rachel Noya. I'm an inpatient speech language pathologist and my extension is 2711. We also have every Tuesday oral care committee rounds. So that's a good opportunity to reach out to your oral care representative who is visiting your floor that Tuesday.